Welcome to part two of the lowrider restoration build. Um, in part one, we you saw me take the bike, uh, the project bike, strip it down to what you see here, uh, and started assessing the rust issues we'd got, which we got up near the top, near the seat post. So rather than bore you to death with that for half an hour, I'll crack on and then we'll have a look. So we've now wire walled that down really well actually a few little bits I just need to address there um, but apart from that I'm really happy with that result so I'll just give you a quick show as to what it looks like as you can see much better still a little bit of work to do on it but uh, we're getting there a lot of the rust has gone from there small amount to finish off in there uh, but it's coming up really well I haven't done that back stay there so you can see the difference between before and after. So next I use some chrome paste. Now I've used different things like Autosol. It was okay but I found this. It's called Valitas Pride. This tub I've had at least a year and it's great stuff. It looks just like the Autosol pastes. A little bit dirty in there but uh, it fetches up chrome like I've never seen anything else do. So it, it is literally dab it on as you do and then let it just rub it in and then polish it off. So I'll crack on with that and we'll come back in a bit. So we've had a bit of a delivery and I've found some other parts on the shelf. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through a few of the bits we've got. Uh, I'll show you what's going to be going on the bike. Uh, some of them need some refurb, but uh, that's what we're here for. So we've got, that came off the bike. That's the original, I don't want to do that, we'll put that down for a minute. That is an original uh, eight ball low rider th uh, chain guard. You can tell it has the ribs on there. Overall, some rust on the inside, but the chrome's fairly good. They were cheap chrome anyway when they were new, so they usually rust quite badly, but uh, that should come up. It's on the surface, so we should be able to get that one uh, fettled up and put on. You may remember this. The uh, mouldy crusty seat that's got the pad going and the Bratz uh, low rider sissy bar so that's going in the bin what I have got is a blue plush with I don't know if that was came on the factory but anyway with tassels is a genuine one as well so that should set the bike off quite well along with proper sissy bar with the clamps and rarely it's, they're usually gone but uh, the rubber stops that's very good condition so that'll go straight on sprocket we saw earlier so I've now just polished that up that's ready to be mounted to the one piece crank when that arrives a bit out of my hand earlier so that is a the proper kickstand for it you may remember on this bike it had got some uh, telescopic clamp on one but that will literally drop straight in there and that's that's that bit taken care of then we come on to a couple of big bits so proper front springer arms um, you've got the bracket there that holds the front hub brake so I've got the proper stem and on there which is the bridge part with low ride stamped on it, the spring etc. The thing it is missing is the supports of which we've got those so they will fit in there. Just turn that so it's stamped. Once again they've also stamped so they usually they'll fit in there and there to give you a full suspension on both sides to support that. So that's quite a good addition what we needed. And then you may remember the 72 spoke wheel, uh, the rim would come up again I think, there's some bad areas there but to be honest as I said earlier, although it's got the coaster in it, the coaster brake and original tyres which are pretty bad condition but uh, it's the less desirable 72 spokes so what I've got off the shelf is 144 spokes, just try and hold those up in the camera so you can see the difference the two this does need a little bit of work tires in better condition this is actually 
I remember on this bike, this is actually somebody who's gone to town with it with chrome cleaner. I don't know if you can see that in there. Uh, but the rim's overall good, but I've managed to do a full strip and take all the spokes out, polish the rim up and then rebuild it, redo the coaster brake, clean the tyre up, grease and service the hub, etc. So I've got a pair of those. And I think at the moment that's it. Got some fenders coming. Uh, I've got a set of pedals as well. Um, then we're ready to go. The handlebars I've not yet decided on. Although, as I said earlier, I've got a stem coming for it, the factory stem. Not sure if I'm going to use the handlebars that are with it or look at another um, option. We'll see. As I said, we might have to look at the handlebars. We've got the ones that came off this bike. Not sure yet. They probably will be used, but I'm going to have a think about that and see if I can find some factory ones. Maybe even upgrade them. Got a couple of mirrors as well and a horn. Um, so what I'm going to start doing is I can't do much with the, the base of here because we're waiting on the crank to arrive. But I'm going to start rebuilding the front end, um, get that in place, get the bearings done, uh, and we'll see what it looks like after that. Right. So let's crack on. So, before I start on the front end, quick and easy uh, job, we'll just drop this in, kickstand, gets it off the floor, he says, dropping the bolt on the floor, it gets it off the shelf, gets it on here, one less job. That just bolts straight in like that. on so I think what we'll do is we'll flip this round so you can see a little bit better just have a quick look at that see what you can see so bear with me so as I said earlier front spring of suspension I'm just going to strip that down so basically I've got a top nut on there these are usually held on with 13 mil nuts on this thing just get that out of the way so you've got 13 mil nuts and bolts there or kind of coach bolts hands are in the way apologies i'll take that side out and then just put it in there kind of show you that a bit better that then comes apart, put that to one side for a minute and then you have a 17mm and a 14mm that separates like that so once you're left with the stem let's have a look in there, somebody's put a, a nut in there, just get rid of that, bear with me So, here's your stem. Just unscrew that. Bit of paint on this one, so I'll clean that up when it's on. And you've got top and bottom bearing. Cage in the bottom one's got a few ball bearings missing, so we'll replace that. That's just, uh, as you can see, where the ball bearings have dropped out that one, so we'll get a new one of those. So, got our new bearings, we'll try popping those in. Sits on there. Oops, right. Bearing the right way.
thing. So, you may have seen there was a bit of a pause there, so as I came to build this up, I thought I'd press these collars out, the bearing carriers out of the headset, we've run into a bit of a problem. So these are too big, so when they put the triple clamp forks on, they've changed the bearing carriers, um, so I'm pretty short. There's about an inch short, which is made up of these standing proud, and this being too deep, even taking up the slack that I've knocked them out. So that's going to put a bit of a pause on the build of the front forks while I get on the forums and ask about a bit, see if I can get some uh, replacements or jump on eBay or something like that. So basically we'll get rid of those and I'll show you. So those, that sits it there. And that sits in there and that's got to be at least five mil too big about that much too big so it's just giving me no thread on the top to put the locking nut on there so they put a bit of a stop to the front end so what I'm going to do is start looking at uh, what we've got I look through the parts bin can't find anything like that so I'll have to have a little search and then come back all right so I think we're going to wrap it up for this part because we're stuck until we've got these done. Um, so I'll see you next time. Just a thought on actually before we close off fully. Uh, this week I'm looking at a couple of projects. Um, I was going to kind of keep it as a bit of a tease but uh, I might as well uh, show you the picture of them. There, there's a couple of Mark II Rally chopper bikes. One of them's a real basket case, the front one, and uh, looks like somebody's had a, a bit of a go as a stunt driver or BMX rider on it uh, and bent the forks back. The green one, I can't really tell the condition from the photo, but it's uh, a friend of mine has got them. So I'm going to go over and have a look. I'd like to do the rusty one as a patina rat ride, as I say, for myself, uh, and the green one, renovate it. Um, then hand it back to him, he can either keep it or sell it. So, uh, once this one's done, once we've got the low rider project finished, one of those will be the next up on the stand. If you want to put a comment in as to which you'd like to see first, do you want to see the light restoration on the green one, or do you want to see what we can do on the rusty one? Comment me up, and uh, that's what we'll do. Okay, thanks. Bye now.